Hey, let me know when they ain't going to sign. Let me know. Uh, Somebody let me know when they ain't going to sign. Yeah, I got you, yeah. Oh boy, but this video has gone viral. Central Florida man Eugene Bozzi came face to face with this gator at his doorstep. Uh, this happened in Mount Dora on the Orange County side. He used a trash can to corner the reptile, then eventually he got the hissing gator inside, and then he wheeled it down to the pond and let it go safely. But wildlife experts say you should not try this at home. And joining us right now to talk more about it is Gatorland Park Director Mike Heilman. Oh, Mike, I see you brought a couple of your friends with you today. Yeah, I've got a few people that showed up with us this morning. How are you They're guys doing? They're cute. They're cute. All right, so let's talk a little bit about this particular situation, right? You've got a gator on your front, <laughs> basically your front porch, you know, right there on the sidewalk in front of your house. You can call right. FWC, but it's not like they're going to show up in five or ten minutes. What do you do? Well, I mean, the, uh, obviously the best thing to do is not engage with the animal. Uh, this <laughs> scenario turned out the best it possibly could. Uh, no one got injured, including the alligator, but there are trained people that do this for a living. You can call the sheriff's department, you can call FWC, and uh, just kind of give the alligator its space till they get there. Yeah, I hear you. Okay, so in this particular case, though, I mean, it actually did kind of work out pretty well, and he did the right thing in the sense that he brought it down to the pond, but the problem is that gator's likely yeah. going to come back, isn't it, Mike? Yeah, most likely. I mean, that's his uh, area. They built that neighborhood. Uh, around where it lives so we're kind of in their backyard so yeah anytime we encroach on their area you're going to have these interactions it's going to happen is this the season that you're going to see more gators and it's not we're not in mating season are we no uh okay. we're actually out of mating season and what's happened now is all the babies have hatched out of their eggs so you're going to get a lot of uh moms in their nursery areas with a bunch of the babies. Oh, now, let me know if that's sneaking up on me, guys. That's, that's Raul's getting a little close. All right, Raul, stop it. Stop it. Just but, keep feeding yeah, this them, is the time of year. Uh, and, and obviously, you guys do feed the gators there, but that is something you should absolutely not do in your neighborhood, right? Because that's just going to uh -huh. make the problem worse. Yeah, 100%. That is the biggest problem with uh, alligators in the wild. You cannot feed them because once you do, they associate us with food. Um, and I don't want to be looked at like a big hot dog <laughs> by something like this that's in my neighborhood uh, retention pond. So, so what that's, a, that's the number one thing. Don't feed them. Yeah, exactly. What usually happens with these gators once the trappers or, or FWC picks them up? Where do they go? I know you guys take some I mean, of them. Yeah, it depends uh, if we can get wind of it. And we work with a lot of the local trappers and through our uh, conservation of Gatorland Global, we'll we'll try and get with these trappers and purchase the alligators and bring them here to give them a forever home. We have a couple uh, alligators that we have saved. We've got one right here. His name's Turnpike. We got one back here. That name is Bogey. They uh, they were both from Polk County and they were nuisance alligators. Uh, so we try to save as many as we can. That one behind you that's got his mouth open, Mike, is he waiting for you to throw him something? Um, he's either that or waiting for me to make a mistake or not pay attention to him. This is Raul. He's one of our one of our normal uh, attendees in a feeding. <laughs> what, hey, Raul. What's the biggest one you have out there? It looked like Turnpike was pretty big. Yeah, Turnpike's big. He's probably about 13. Uh, but we do have one right there behind him in the water. That's the biggest one out here. His name's Buddy. And he's about 14, 14 and a half feet and about 1,100 pounds. Oh, my gosh. Incredible. Yeah, he's wow. a big dude. you got to feed those big gators dude. a lot of chickens to make them happy. What, what do you feed, yeah. a, what do you feed a 14-footer? So right now, um, we got a great donation of top sirloin. So these guys are eating better than we are. Uh, a semi broke down, and it went above their freezing temperatures. So they donated that to us because oh, they couldn't sell you. it. So they're, I mean, it, I would eat it. it it's good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Danielle says she's it's in steak. too. We'll come down and take any it's... leftovers you got. Mike Howman, right. you're the best from Gatorland. Always fun talking to you guys. Thanks for the great information right. for our viewers. No problem. Take Thank care. Thank you guys. Bye.